Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome to my very first vlog. Now I am going to be doing a lot more of these so I can give you some behind the scenes. A couple of days ago, my Epic Mega Grant did get this approved and even though it threw a big ass wrench on my projects and my plans, I'm just going to have to come up with different ways on how to get assets. Now originally, I was going to start hiring people and buying a lot of photorealistic assets in the marketplace and websites, but obviously right now, I'm just gonna have to create some myself. Last year, I decided to really photo scan a couple of my cameras just for fun. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be photo scanning this tree right behind me. Now I'm gonna be starting with something small because I'm not a professional. I was just photo scanning uh, small objects. But yeah, I'm just gonna learn from here, to be honest. Last year, I was using a different software, but Epic Games did purchase capture reality and they have this software called reality capture and that's what we're going to be using let's go ahead and photo scan this asset behind me this tree now i'm not going to be doing the entire thing just uh pretty much half of it and see how it looks in 3d in unreal engine 5 okay then so we are now going to take those photos that we took outside in the park of that tree and we're going to try and recreate it and photo scan it for Unreal Engine 5. Now, this software I'm using right here, like I said, is Reality Capture. Now, this is actually my first time using this software. And to be honest, I think it's pretty easy because of this help right here. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to this reality capture help quick start we're going to create a new 3d model in step by step and what i'm going to do is just follow this here so select workflow tab and application and we're just going to add the imagery or the photos that we created so i'm going to add a new folder and i'm going to look for that tree that we took pictures of and it should be geo right here all right so the next step is we are going to change the workflow layout to one plus one plus one as it says right there so if you go right here one plus one plus one. It's going to open up three separate windows. Here, right here is our tutorial. It's going to teach us how to pretty much move around, right click, move left click, and control, all that stuff. So let's go press continue. And next thing we're going to do is actually align the images. So let's untwirl this right here. And we're going to see all of our image here. Now you can upload pictures for geometry, meaning the reconstruction. And you can also add a separate set for texturing, which I will try around later on. But this is just a really quick tutorial on how to use this here because I'm actually excited to see what this is going to look like. So we're going to go align the images, as you can see right here. All right, one of the things that I noticed with Reality Capture is it's pretty quick. It is much faster than the software I was using last year. Now I just double click that so I can move the pivot point and then I'm gonna right click and rotate around it. And as you can see, it already projected the tree that we took pictures of outside. Looks pretty darn good. Okay, so we're gonna click continue. Scene component image cameras. It's just telling me to move around like we did earlier. So I'm press continue. We're going to set the ground plane, which it, this one looks like it's lifted a little bit. So we can do that if you want. So use the ground plane widget in the reconstruction right here. We're going to set the ground plane right here. We're going to left click this and just drag it down until it hits the floor, which this doesn't look too bad. It is a little bit crooked, so I can just kind of move that a little bit. Not really too picky because I can always just, you know, rotate this and fix this in Unreal Engine 5 later. So let's continue on. The reconstruction region is pretty much this white box right here. And it looks like it's selected it pretty well. It's covering our tree here. So I don't have to worry about it. It looks like it's covering everything that I want to be reconstructed in CG. Continue next. All right, so the next step is actually computing the model. So we're going to go to workflow right here. See right there. And we're going to click on calculate the model. So I'm going to go click on calculate model in a sub menu right here. And we're going to do normal quality for now. All right, so it looks like it computed our model now. So let's go kind of move around a little bit so we can actually see it. And like I said, this software is actually really freaking fast. I didn't really have to wait that long. So let's take a look. I'm going to 
go ahead and untwirl this and look at the components right here. And so you can see it created a one 20 part, 27.1 million triangles. And this is pretty freaking huge. So you see it right here is 20 parts. And what I'm going to do is just actually clean this up. So let's go click your construction. And it's right now, like I told you, it shows you all the statistics and stuff like that. 3.6. All right, so well, before we texture this model, I am going to clean it up just a little bit because there's some stuff in here that we really don't need. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to the re reconstruction right here, and I'm going to do a lasso tool, and I'm just going to cut that top off right here. And this should select all the stuff up top, and I'm just going to filter that selection. Okay. So that's good. Now, additionally, I am going to cut the bottom part because I really don't need all those extra areas there. So I'm going to draw again a little circle here just to clean it up a little. And I'm going to invert that, and I'm going to filter that out. So let's go back in. Looks like it's good, but what we'll do is I'm going to go to Advanced. And it's going to open up a little window here. This is actually how it works. All the tools that you create here is going to pop up right here. So this is an advanced selection tool. I'm going to select the largest connected component, and that should select the big chunk of our model. And I'm going to invert that. And as you can see, that grabbed the stuff that's below that, and I'm going to filter those out. So I'm going to uncheck that. As you can see, it's right there. Now I'm going to do a check topology inspection. All right, so it's telling me that there's six holes. The largest holes is 6,363. That's probably the bottom or the top. So I'm going to go ahead and press close. And it's going to, should be getting rid of this. So I can fill that hole, but it really don't matter because that's going to be on the ground. So I really don't care too much about that. So I'm pretty happy with this result as far as, you know, I mean, we've only been here like 10, 15 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll clean the model and then we will texture it. All right, so after cleaning this, you can see that we went from 27 mil down to 25.1 million triangles. Now, that is still a lot of triangles for Unreal Engine 5. So what I'm going to do is actually simplify this into something maybe like 2 million or maybe 1.2 million triangles, all right? So to do that, all you have to do is actually click on Simplify Tool right here. All right, and then again, a little pop-up is going to be right here, and we're going to do an absolute... And we're going to do 1.2 million is, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, and after that, all I'm going to do is click Simplify. And this is going to simplify this model into and shrink it to 1.2 million absolute. Okay, so here we are, and it created another model of 1.2 mil tris, which is only seven parts. Now, if you want to change and go back to the other models, you just got to double click that, and that's pretty much it. It's going to take you to that model. So right here is the 1.2 mil, and that's what we kind of want. All right, so it finished simplifying this to a 1.2 million triangles. So this shouldn't be an issue inside Unreal Engine 5, to be honest. This should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and unclick this tool so it disappears here. And as you can see right here, 1.2 million. So this is good. And up here as well, it broke it down to seven parts, 1.2 mil. So the next thing we're going to do is actually unwrap this uh, model here. So I'm going to click on settings right here. Just, just take a look to see what's going on. Uh, called uh, coloring method, visibility geometry. Now this is by default is actually going to, going to use... Um, an 8K texture, okay? So this is just the settings that you can change. So I'm gonna click on unwrap, and I'm gonna go right here. We're gonna play around with these settings until we get what we really want. So let's do to 8K, 10, and then I will change this to 10, and let's see what this does. All right, so that unwrapped this model here, and let me go ahead and close this. Now what I'm going to do is click this texturing down arrow and you're going to see that it created an 8K and it's using texture quality of 112%, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to push it any further, to be honest. And it created four texture 
Okay, so that's really good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do before we texture this thing is actually color correct the images so that the white balance is correct. So to do that, we're gonna go to our um, one plus two layout here and I'm gonna change this to 2D or 2D right here. And I'm gonna choose just a first image here and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. And right here, color correction references, I'm just gonna click on say enable and then I'm going to go to reconstruction and then just do correct colors. And if this is going to do its thing here. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're already in 3D mode. So that's good. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go back to my um, 1 plus 1 plus 1 mode. And as you can see, our UV is already here. You can see our model. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this out of there. And I'm going to click on settings for the texturing. And I'm going to go click on no on this one and ignore color correction yes so that's good i'm going to go ahead and close out all of this because it is getting pretty crazy okay so we're going to click this model right now we have 112 percent texture it's already unwrapped and next thing we're going to do is just texture this thing all right so it looks like it finished texturing our little tree trunk here and man that looks freaking good <laughs> This is not bad, I don't think, for my first time tree trunk scanning, man. This is exciting stuff, see? Except for this hole. I totally jacked this hole up right here. I didn't have enough overlap here, noob. So that's why there's a big old hole. But that's okay. Learn from my mistake. It won't happen again. So, yeah, this looks freaking amazing. We have that... 1.2 mil tris is already textured. So you can see right here is a TX. I think that's what it means. And the next thing we're going to do is actually export this to Unreal Engine 5. And that's really where the fun stuff begins. So let's save this real quick. All right. So let's explain what the export options are. Now, to explain the export options, I'm going to take you to the Capturing Reality page. Now, obviously, I'm not getting paid by Epic to do this. But I just decided to use Epic softwares because they're just pretty much in the same environment universe if you would so reality capture you can get 3500 ppi credits for 10 us dollars 8000 for 20 dollars and then if you want to buy the license for life it's 3750 dollars now if i make enough money because my plan is to raise money now is i'm going to start photo scanning stuff and selling the models whenever i get really good to raise money to make more movies and such so eventually i am probably going to get the reality capture enterprise unlimited license but for now i'm just going to mess around with the 10 us dollar once and just credits whenever i'm running out so to give you an estimate pretty much to give you an idea this tree trunk that i have here costs me a dollar and 20 to export the FBX. Now, I think, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, I think once you pay for it once, you don't have to pay for it again to export. You can change the settings and all that stuff, and you won't be charged again, which I think is pretty cool. So now that we talked about that and pricing and stuff like that, let's go ahead and export this baby to Unreal Engine 5. So press continue, and we're going to go to workflow. So you can see right here, and we're going to do a model and I'm gonna name this BFT and I'm gonna save we're gonna save it as an FBX I think I'm just gonna leave everything by default texture is 8k so that's okay and press okay and I think the texture is gonna save it as a PNG all right so it's exported and let's go to Unreal now all right so we are back in the Divas map and I went ahead and removed the tree that was here because that's where I want to place our tree so new folder tree Double click and I'm just going to drag and drop the model here. There's the BFT. Drag and drop. So I exported it in FBX because OBJ and Unreal is just, I don't know, I can't get it to work. So I export an FBX because that seems to work a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I'm going to drag and drop our tree. Now, obviously, it's not scale, so let's scale it up to like five. I'm just gonna drag it down and like I said I didn't care about the holes on the bottom because I'm gonna put it like this anyway so you're not really gonna see that hole okay wow that's so cool oh it is a little bit 
lighter. Okay, there it is. That, that's that other side. So this is our tree trunk. And I'm going to press F11. That we photo scanned in the park. Scanned it. Used reality capture to reconstruct it in CG and then imported it in Unreal Engine 5. And there's that hole. God, it's so terrible. It's ugly. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these because I had so much fun because I'm actually mixing photography with CG and it's so cool. And eventually, I'm probably going to start scanning some people in and get some photorealistic humans. All right, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm Jay from JS Films, and I'll see y'all later.